Yo, what's going on guys? Today, today we finally take a look at Free to Play what? Agony. Now, one thing I will mention, there's two variants to Free to Play Agony. There's the crit variant and then the normal Free to Play variant. What? Today we'll be looking at, if the jumper loads, bonk. Regular Free to Play Agony. Now, you're probably wondering why not the crit variant? One, I only have three twigs currently full of max limit break, so I would need two more. Secondly, this account only has Shiva as a main. My other account with Agni does have twigs, but it only has two, so it's gonna take me even longer on that account. So for now, we'd be looking at the normal free to play Agni, no crit build. Um, just know that there is another variant so for people who are wondering, there are two variants. Uh, personally, I don't like the crit variant too much because it's, you're hampered a little bit, but I will showcase it in the future, hopefully before GW. But generally, I like the normal variant a little bit more because you're not really held back nearly as much due to the fact the crit variant is not reliable damage because you do base your damage on crit. And if you run double Agni, you're gonna have a problem, AKA no Shiva. Has a couple of downsides to it, but I'll talk more about it when I review it. Now with this build, the normal, the normal uh, Agni free to play build, there are a couple of options you have. You don't need to run like the Suzaku Katanas, depending on how much defense like the boss has, you probably won't be capping all your autos and stuff like that. So it may be better to swap this out for like another weapon like Athena Spear for more multi-attack, Athena Sword for more health. Do note that each spear you put in your grid does lower your maximum health by 10%. So you do want to get as much HP as possible with the Opus, with the um, Athena Spear, Suzaku Katana, the, and the Primark. They do all boost your health, so generally you'll have quite a bit of health, but just know that with each spear you put in the grid, you do lose a considerable amount of health. Now you would notice that I am running spears as the ultimate spear and the Akasa spear, because I'll be looking at the most common team comp, which is the spear comp. While there are other units like Esser that are very good, I feel generally when it comes to solo play, this team covers the most areas as in debuffs and protection now i may change it up when i do the crit build i may use esser and alan but for this video i will be doing a standard build with these with the spear team as it's most common now in terms of replacements i don't think anella can be replaced i will have to try it out myself to figure it out but i don't think anella can be replaced Athena can be replaced though easily. Just a note that if you replace Athena, you're gonna have to run a weapon that gives fire attack up because you'll be missing out on that fire attack boost from Siva's passive. Now the summons, as I mentioned, there's no Agni on this account, so I'll be doing Siva Agni. Um, Agni is a friend, so it's gonna take a little while to find a friend. But ideally, you would like to have your own Agni, but for this video, we're gonna improvise. Summons, I don't think I'm changing anything here. Um, Kieran is just cause I needed a summon. Tmod, I don't know why I brought it. I just bring it for stats. Sun is pretty much core. Uh, I highly recommend making a sun if you haven't already made it. It helps a ton. It's a big damage boost turn one and turn two, whatever turn you wanna call it. It's a big damage boost. So if you haven't made it yet, you definitely wanna make it. It goes better with high multi-attack though, so keep that in mind. And C2, because like a, a, a poverty Bahamut, I wanted to keep my summons free to play is, so even though Shiva is not free to play, um, just wanted to keep them as free as possible. Other than that, that's, I don't think there's really much questions. I don't have a lawn in the back row, in case anybody's wondering. Um, if you do have Oracle, you most likely want to put them in the back row, like a lawn, but I didn't put them in the back row because I'm not using them right now. Uh, other than that, I think that's about it. I'm pretty sure. Uh, the Colossus came, yes, that's one thing I forgot. It's not skill level 20, 
So just keep that in mind that it's going to be a little less damage because it's not skill level 20. I am actually going to plus 99-ish grid before I do the video on the battle. So just know that the grid will be plus 99. And I think that's about it. So um, let's get to a battle with it. Now, originally, I was going to do Grimnir, but I ran into the no host mat, so I was like, uh, I get to just do Garuda instead. I don't think it matters too much, but I thought I'll mention it. There was no Grimnir host, and I was like, ah, I don't really feel like farming it, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, one thing I will mention is that Nella should be slot 2. Um, I don't know why she's in slot 4, but... Hey, we improvise. We improvise out here. Go with that. Go with that. Multi attack. The reason Anilla want to be in slot three, by the way, is because of the fact that uh, Anilla gets bonus damage on her skill one, so she does do a little bit more damage than Athena. I also believe that she has higher multi attack or double attack rather, due to her uh, EMP. I could be wrong on that though, but I'm pretty sure he does. Uh, we don't need any stamina, but I have to remember that stamina is in stack actually. So ideally we want to get Athena to OG as soon as possible, because Athena OGing gives us a 15% fire attack boost, and it gives come from Shiva's passive. So the faster we can get the OG off, the better, which we were able to get at turn one. Power Sun is a uh, no joke, no joke at all. Uh, um, I think we should want to be hitting around 800k. I think, I think that's about normal, maybe. Yeah. So you can see that Athena and Anilla have much lower damage than main character and Shiva. But that's just natural though. They're not really what I'll call these damage units. Also, with every little bit of health we lose, you know, their damage gets a little bit lower over time as well. Shiva, I, I, it's like impossible to replace Shiva if you're free to play, to be honest. So if anybody's wondering why I didn't mention Shiva replacement, because you can't, unfortunately, you just can't. Well, if you don't have Shiva, you know, you're gonna have to use somebody else, but if you have him, yeah, he's pretty, uh, pretty important. His damage output is too high for you to not run him, unfortunately. Now, uh, we do have the live stream coming up in the future. We have a uh, summer live stream. I'll be streaming it on my YouTube channel probably. I thought about streaming it on Twitch, but I think I'll be streaming on YouTube. I think this time. Last time I streamed it on Twitch, I believe. So I'll change it up this time. You see the damage drops there. So look, look at the, look what happened when Anella buffs are gone. So you are heavily reliant on Anella buffs as well. So I don't think, I can't honestly tell you guys that Anella's not uh, required. You can see there, the damage drop. Once Anella buffs pretty much ran out, we definitely lost quite a bit of damage here. Even Shiva lost quite a bit. So you guys keep that in mind. When you're running this team that I'm, it's really hard to replace any unit because each of them have a very important thing that they bring to the group. Being blind is kind of annoying though. Definitely wish I was not blind. Yeah, unfortunate. At least we hit the trigger though. I probably should be using a, a Fiat skill one. I can never use it though. I kind of take it for granted. I don't really take much damage, so whenever I usually play on the other account, so maybe I should do some healing here. <laughs> right. We also have lower multi attack as well, but you can just you can just see the difference. The moment a Nella's buff is gone, it's a huge damage drop. But with Nella buffs up, 
we have immense damage, so I really can't honestly tell you that you can replace a Nova. Like, I think the only open slot really is Athena, but do know that if you're going to replace Athena, you got to keep in mind that, hold up, please. you got to keep in mind for replacing Athena that you need a unit to bring fire attack up because you're going to be missing out on Sheila's passive if you replace Athena. The long you keep that in mind, you'll be fine. Hopefully, blind goes away this turn. That'd be very nice if it does. Uh, yeah, lower multi attack. Mm -hmm. We we'll use. Uh, no. I think that's fine. And then next turn, we use Shiva, I believe. I'm getting a plan. Uh, the reason I waited on Shiva is because I I want um Anola to lose that multi pack lower. So I may still be in trouble here. I don't know. We'll find out though. As really, we don't have much debuffs, do we? Honestly, not. No, we're fine. Yeah, we're real fine. I don't know if we cap Shiva or not, but we'll find out. No, look. Yeah. The damage output is not high enough. I don't know if we cap defense down, though. Let me check. No, no, look, look. Defense down was not capped. Okay, that, that, that explains it. I believe it was that. 10. No? It's a 25, right? I don't know how many stacks of Athena we have, though. 10, 25, and. That 10, 25, and. I don't know how many stacks of Athena we have. It depends. It definitely depends. If it's a, like a lot of stacks on Athena, then um, it can stack up to 30, I believe. So we will be capping the down if you got enough stacks. Here. I kind of forget. Like, I don't ever really count stacks. Do note, though, that this is with the Opus limit break. In case anyone's planning on building this. Like, if you don't have your Opus uh, fully finished, you're not going to have nearly as much damage. So we took quite a bit of damage there. This, this should be the end of the fight, though. Or not. I just, I just see the uh, mirror image. Yeah, that's the end of the fight. Yeah. But hopefully you guys enjoy that. Uh, I'm going to be trying the big team, the crit team in the future. Uh, it probably won't be this team, though. It probably be more around Escher and other units. So, um... Watch out for that. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. And thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.